Hello and thank you for subscribing to Infoverse Tech where we explore new ap applications, new technologies. Uh, today we are looking at Streamlit. Uh, it's, an, it's a library for Python which allows us to quickly um, create views of data sets and the data sets can be quite large in size. Uh, sometimes an organization just needs um, to quickly view a data set, look at its uh, uh, you know, uh, important uh, aspects and uh, then uh, maybe move on to the next stage of um, heavy duty um, you know data science um, type work so uh, as you can see I'm using Visual Studio Code it's uh, open source available from um, by it's been made available by Microsoft um, and it can be downloaded from uh, visualstudio.com I'll just show you the uh, the link so uh, let me just open up a file that I've been working on it's uh, called a streamlit demo and you can see um, you can download Visual Studio Code from code.visualstudio.com one of the other reasons that I like Visual Studio Code is that it's got a terminal window which will allow me to install any packages any Python packages if I need and also it has multi language support and it, it's very similar to um, Atom or Sublime Text that um, other people would recommend so highly recommended IDE um, so let's get, um, I, I've just uh, opened this file, I can just remove this, I don't need this, it's just for reference. So uh, when we start off with any data science um, project, the, one of the few libraries that we always import is uh, Pandas and NumPy. And you can see here I've imported uh, Streamlit as ST, which is the main um, library that we'll be looking into. Now in the event that you don't have uh, streamlet install you can use you could go to the terminal and run this command and it will install streamlet for you i'm not going to run it because i already have it installed but this is a quick reference to on, on how to do it now i just uh, started importing the libraries and i'm just going to write a very simple command saying st.title where st stands for streamlet and it just says preview data set so let's see how we can run this and then get started and adding more code as we move along so the way to do that is first of all I need to know where my Python is installed so in the terminal I'm going to do a CD to that location uh, where my Python is installed and then I'm going to run uh, the following command and refer my file that we are looking at so I'm just going to copy that here. I have that already written. So the command syntax is streamlet run and then the location where that file, the Python file is located, which is a streamlit demo. When it runs, the, the good thing to note here is that you have a local URL. So everything, um, all the views that you see run locally. So uh, local uh, URL is localhost on port 8501 and interestingly it also provides you a network URL so you can check maybe from your cell phone or somewhere else on the network which is provided in that uh, IP address there and what it does automatically is that it opens up a browser for you to view that so let's go to that browser that was autom automatically opened to support this and let me just place it next to our Visual Studio Code here and we should be able to see any updates there okay so like I said um, we just started out with writing preview data set and that's what it's running right that makes sense now let's go back and add some some more information so that we can make this actually useful uh, in, in viewing a data set Okay, so I'm just going to uh, get some commands and going to explain them as we move through that code. And you, you can see, uh, you, you'll be able to uh, see that it's very self-explanatory. Very easy to uh, use these, uh, uh, these streamlit commands. So here what I'm doing is I'm saying, okay, um, I'm creating a checkbox uh, which will say preview data set and I'm going to give it um, 
uh, data equals df value. We're just going to quickly point to the data set in one minute. And then you have some code which is very similar to an if then else statement. So it's saying if um, st dot button and uh, note that uh, st is the streamlet abbreviation st and then dot button or dot write. Those are the, the further extensions that we need to know in order to uh, complete our coding. So st dot button if it's head uh, then just display the data dot head which is uh, typically the five lines of that data set uh, else if it's um, we select tail it would be the last five lines and if um, nothing else but then by default it displays the first two lines of that data set and um, the checkbox will say preview data set you can uh, either select it or you can uh, turn it off now let me quickly look for the data set which is the key thing here so what we are going to do here is take a look at the electric vehicle data set um, in I, I believe this is from uh, not this is from America so this is the electrical vehicle population underscore data dot CSV format and we're going to read that data and then uh, see how we can display it okay so let's get started give me a minute um, I just updated this I need to save this file I can do a control s and I can say always run so it will run and you can see that it's now updated take into account the st dot checkbox so if I select this oh cool so it's able to pick that um, data that we pointed to and you know the default is just showing two rows and I can actually select tail which will give me the last five uh, rows of that data so as you can see with just a minimum amount of um, code that I've written I'm able to display the data set I, I can at least start viewing that data uh, data set that I have and this is an amazingly uh, powerful uh, application uh, that we are seeing in action here okay so uh, and you can toggle between these um, head uh, tail and you can if I um, uncheck that it's gone again so uh, you know w wonderful way to do it and it's so simple to write all this code now let's add some more uh, information as an example uh, let's say we want to um, maybe show the entire data set or maybe let's say we want to just show the column name so um, you know as a data scientist I might be interested to see what are the columns in this data set okay so I'm just going to uh, add that um, code here so I'm just commenting it it's saying show column names saying if st dot checkbox uh, if I select that and the title is show column names then st dot write so write to the screen uh, df dot columns so uh, that's df is short for data frame right let me just uh, save this additional that I write and you can see that since I selected always run as soon as I um, save my code or there any change in the code streamlet knows how to to rerun that and display it so you can see now we show the column names let me just check that to see if it's working and wow voila look at that so I have um, it's, it's showing me let's see so about 14 uh, 15 columns um, and the names of them so you know really really useful way to quickly look into uh, peer peek into your data set and uh, you know maybe find it interesting and then make some decisions around that okay let's go to and let's say maybe I want to know more information now, now I'm I have my data science scientist cap on and maybe I want to look at some more uh, details around the data so uh, one thing that we can do is uh, show the uh, dimensions right which will include um, things like um, column rows information summary and, and so on so let me just um, bring that data in that I have already 
test it so that it's easier and everyone can follow along so here what I'm saying is show dimensions of that data uh, I'm just using some variable called data dim Uh, let me call that yeah, yeah it, it doesn't matter it's just a name so data dim here data dim it, it, it can be anything it's just a uh, data that we are showing here and what are we doing is that we are introducing another uh, extension called radio so this will actually give us a choice so what dimensions do you want to see uh, rows columns or all so and again you have that if then else kind of a nested loop uh, saying if data dim equals rows then show rows and how do you actually do that is from the data set you select the uh, the, the first component in in the shape um, if it's um, columns you selected then you can show the second uh, item of that array for shape and if you don't select any of them you just sh show the shape of the data set right so let's see how that runs and quickly go here it, it's displayed for us let me just uncheck this so it just you know uh, opens up the uh, screen for us so as you can see rows is selected and you say seeing 55,421 rows in this data set columns shows uh, a total of 15 columns which we had counted earlier but here it gives you a quick um, count here and if I select all it showing me okay in the shape of data set the first item is rows which is uh, we selected shape using shape um, call, uh, you know bracket zero and the second one is column which is the second so um, quick summary 55,421 rows in this data set and 15 columns perfect and we already saw the uh, column names um, let's say I'm interested in a quick summary so this is again uh, someone wearing a data scientist cap uh, a lot of it is uh, something that we will need to uh, get into it's um, when we ask for the summary of the data set it brings in a lot of um, you know the statistical uh, terminology so I'm not going to go into detail uh, here in this video um, you'll have to go to uh, another of my videos to go through those uh, um, but right now we just quickly show you that using uh, streamlet we can quickly display the summary uh, of that data set so let me save this and you can see uh, it, it, it pops up here on the right hand side let me click show summary and here it prints out uh, the mean the standard variation minimum values the 25 50 75 percentile and so on so you know great way to quickly and and this is a, a very small data set if you have a data set with millions and millions of rows of data um, you, you can see that just running one single command to create a summary is, is extremely beneficial extremely useful for any organization which is interested in looking at large data sets uh, of its own um, within its own or an external database a data set okay uh, let's uh, add some more functionality as an example I might be interested in each column so let me just uh, grab that code for you which I have uh, created I, I call it um, selecting a column and let me just copy it down here and uh, you know the the great thing is that all of these are working uh, independently of each other so uh, as I'm adding this code it's not interfering with what I've added or the lo logic or the flow of the data it, it shows up on its own so here we are it hasn't updated on the right hand side because I haven't saved this as soon as I save this it should uh, pop up here perfect so you can see um, that I have a drop down list now so these are some of the so remember the for this particular data set the uh, total number of uh, columns was 15 but I'm just interested in in four or five or a subset of those columns so as an example I'm interested in what are the cars the, the make of the cars in this um, and I'm sure Tesla will be you know there or Nissan and um, I'm looking interested in the model the model year electric range 
based uh, MSRP. And again, uh, your um, requirements could vary, but here it's for a quick overview. Uh, these are some of the uh, um, you know attributes of that data set that I was interested in. So let's select model and uh, it, let it just update it. So you can see you have leave, and again, this is not normalized. You might see multiple um, uh, you know mentions. So you have CMAX energy, I think, I believe it's a Mitsubishi, might be wrong. You have a Smart F42, you have a Primus, you have Leafs, you have Model S, uh, that's Tesla. Uh, you have a Chevy Bolt, as an example. Uh, let me, okay, Model years. so you can see on the top it, it's running and it, it you know, it, it picks up. So it appears to be this data might be um, from maybe 2008 to 2018, perhaps. Right. Again, a lot of information that's coming right out, out there to you with a few lines of code. Again, the ranges, you can you know modify this to maybe sort this um, uh, from high to low and so on. But these are all the, uh, all the ranges that are captured in this data set. Let's see what else we have. Oh yeah, we have the base MSRP, which is the manufacturer's suggested retail price. And you can see that um, this is a uh, US dollars so 68,000 42,400 for different uh, all the um, different vehicles in this data set um, and if you let's uh, quickly see summary so base MRP mean it's it's coming to let's say 40 41 thousand dollars so yeah it, it gives you the summary especially gives us a quick uh, peek into the uh, data itself uh, let's uh, one last uh, item that I just want to share and again the possibilities are um, unimaginable for this uh, library what you can do uh, what I want to show quickly is how I can I can plot this uh, data set so I just inserted that code uh, what it's doing it said that it's, um, it's uh, again creating a checkbox I'm creating let's say something called a group or grouping let's let me call it grouping and I won't just want to group that all together and I want to say the uh, the type of uh, by make I want to do it by make and the uh, I'm use, going to use st dot bar dot chart so it will create a bar chart Okay, let's quickly save that and see how that shows up. So let it refresh. Okay, so there you see, you see the show bar chart. If I select that, it might take, uh, again, note that for larger data sets, it might take a little longer, but here yeah, it was able to uh, quickly pick that up. Um, let's see if we can make a quick change to, let's say perhaps group it by base MSRP. Let's see if that works. So I save that. Uh, let it update okay so let me uncheck let me read on that again and uh, let's see if that change was updated okay it's taking a little longer okay So yeah, so these are all the um, different prices for this uh, vehicle. So this is a quick introduction, quick overview of uh, how you can use the Streamlit library and you can, um, you know, agree with me. This is very, very powerful library and uh, the possibilities are endless. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do subscribe.